Howdy y'all, my name is Bryce and I'm coming at you with something brand new on a Saturday and we are playing Fate Tectonics. Now this game came out, I believe, last week, but I had the great fortune of getting to play this at PAX. Uh, and so right as I played it uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, I was like, okay, yeah, uh, this game is up my alley. Um, and I've only scratched the surface on this game on my own, but I wanted to show it off to y'all so that y'all can check it out and see what it's like. And we're going to just start a brand new game uh, and see what's going on. But there's a whole bunch of depth underneath this game game. Um, to try and quickly describe it, it's sort of a um, puzzle game meets god game. Uh, you're trying to keep these gods happy uh, while building up the terrain, and the way that you build up terrain is with these kind of randomized tiles uh, that you try and interlock together. And beyond that, you'll see it as we go through here. So we're going to start a brand new game. And we'll see what happens. All right. So here we can already choose because I've played before. Usually when you start, it just starts you on the default mode, I believe. Um, but since we played a little bit, I could choose between these two if I wanted to. Uh, the one on the left, the Awaken the Sisters, I believe it, this is basically like the normal mode. Uh, it's got a time limit to it in that like if you're not um, keeping track of these guys, then uh, they might get angry and destroy your world basically. Uh, or there's the Serenity mode, which it sounds like you can just go with things and not worry about um, bad stuff happening. It's more of like the calm and serene version of this, which I'll probably play around with on my own. But I feel like for this playthrough, I thought, let's do the default mode. So uh, we're going to Awaken the Sisters. Rag Ragnarosa and Fortuna embrace a cycle of creation and destruction as a way to train and test makers in the art of world building. Create the world within a time limit, destroy it, repeat. Earn additional time through your accomplishments. Strive to earn Ragnarosa's approval. So it, it goes through these phases where like you're building, you're building, you're building, and then destroyed. You're building, you're building, you're building, and destroyed. So uh, we'll do that one. Uh, it'll keep us moving a little bit quickly. All right. There are stories of a world built by the hand of a maker. Stories of land spiraling outward, connecting, and growing tile by tile. This story, however, follows you, the maker of this world. Your power is great, but you can only influence the world directly through the fates. Ethereal beings with plans of their own. Most fates Fates favor you with tools needed to build your world, building blocks to grow, and also the means to keep everything together. Some fates merely watch and react, not always positively. I love the artwork. Sometimes the fates cause destruction due to their temperamental nature. Destruction that has no way of being reversed, and a world is lost, but fear not, maker. Destruction and loss are the middle of the story, not the end. Continue to build, and create, and learn. There are many judgments and a cataclysm to come. Your world must be strong to stand against them. Brave maker, gather your tools, build, and gain favor of the fates. All right. So, here's where we start. I click over here on Penelope, and I build Penelope's temple. And that immediately puts down some tiles, okay? Now what I'm tasked with is I need to build the world bigger. So I click on this little green square down here, and I get a new square to place down. And I have to make sure that it matches on all sides. So uh, I rotated that with the right click, left click that down, and boom, it matched on the side, so it was all good. Uh, I just quickly pressed right, quick, uh, <laughs> right click to immediately grab another of the same tile I just used. It's a nice way of speeding things up a little bit in this game. Uh, and so now I'll place this one. Let's do it like that. Uh, and as you can see, it's kind of like a little, it's got a little bit of a grainy blackness to it there. And if I keep building out in the same direction, you'll see it's, it'll get worse and worse. Um, let's just keep doing this a little bit. Yeah, you'll see it keeps getting worse. Oh, look how bad that is. And if I were to build another one out here, it crumbles, it crumbles, it crumbles, and causes destruction and falls, okay? So you have to make sure to kind of build it within a square um, to keep them stable. So basically, as long as it matches on multiple sides, it'll be a little bit more stable. And that'll help stabilize tiles that are near it as well. Um, let's try that one there. And so basically for right now, as you can see uh, next to the Penelope's temple thing that we clicked there, this little guy is slowly building up. Every time we put down a tile successfully, that builds up a little bit. Uh, and what that is, uh, is uh, going to allow us to build cities. Uh, and so it's definitely something that we're going to want. Ah, and we just unlocked it. So let's place that there and let's build a little city over here. So now I've got this little city on the coast, and what's going to happen is that these guys are going to start to expand, and they'll actually put down tiles of their own even. And I can even build another city. So let's go ahead and do that, because uh, we want to start getting those things moving. So let's try and do the best that we can here. Um, that would fit there. Let's do it there. Oh, no! Oh, you see, I, had, I didn't match those sides properly, so then that caused more destruction. Whoops. Let's do that. A new city just formed over there because these guys are helping build these things around. See, these guys grew a little bit too. So, uh, yeah, it's all about trying to kind of meet those goals, I guess you could say, uh, that are set down before us. 
All right, this one's going to be a tough one to match, actually. I might have put myself into a corner on that one. Uh, that looks good. Okay. Uh, let's do it like that. Hurry. Yeah, I saved it. Cool. Um, not going to be able to save much else. All right. So, yeah, as you can see, the game, it just got, it has this very kind of basic mechanic, but that's also kind of complex. Like, I, I, I find myself, when I'm playing this, getting really, really flustered. Uh, just, like, constantly confused and overwhelmed. Um, trying my best. Let's see. That's going to be yeah, a crumbly one. It's going to fall. Okay. Well, let's try here. All right. That's not bad. Um, that's not going to work for us, is it? That'll work. Oh, it won't work. There was a thing there. Oh, no. Yeah, and then that broke. So that's why you got to pay attention. Got to pay attention, bruh. All right. Let's, uh, let's do one of those. Okay. And here's a nice big four square green. Um, oh, what happened? A deep thumping is heard in the distance as storm clouds roll in, bringing with them the sister fates, Ragnarosa and Fortuna. Two halves of the same hole. Fortuna rewards your actions with more time while Ragnarosa judges just what kind of maker you are. Ragnarosa is notoriously difficult to please, but perhaps your next creation will be the one that gains her favor. All right, so now they're around. And so essentially, we've now got the time limit. I don't really know much about um, how long that time limit is. Um, so we'll see if I just get destroyed. Nope, that's going to fall. Okay, um... Yeah, we're kind of in a tricky spot here. Please quit flying in front of me, yo. Oh, we can build boats now. Cool. So, we have boats now, which you put on ocean tiles near a city. It's like there. That's good. How about... Well, I gotta, gotta build a few out here um, in order to do this. Okay. Um, let's try it like this. Maybe like that. That looks like an ocean to me, huh? Anything? No? Guess not. Well, maybe we can build a city over here. Yeah, let's build a city there, and then maybe we can build... Yeah, there we go. So those guys will start to expand out ocean blocks. Once we get enough ocean blocks expanded, I think once this bar down here completes, then um, we will unlock the next god uh, to try and impress. So let's work towards that goal. All right. Got water with a bunch of grass around. Let's make a little island over there, huh? It's pretty cool. Oh. Got that, but that won't fit there. That'll fit, though. Okay. And again, it's really just like you have to be constantly uh, on top of the ball with this game and paying attention to where you're placing stuff. Um, that almost looks good, but not quite. How about there? No. That'll do. And that'll do. Okay. Uh, yeah, I kind of messed with myself on this one, so I might have to just deal with that for now. Maybe these guys will expand it for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, got water and grass. That should be good there. Okay. That wouldn't be good there. That'll be good. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, some things that I... Oh, we got the next guy. I just placed that out there to get rid of it. So, we got this new god, so we got to place his temple down. I think we'll place it here. Because that'll give us a whole bunch of ocean tiles. And guess what? We can now build straight up ocean tiles. Or usually they'll be ocean tiles. Sometimes they'll be ocean with a little bit of extra. But I'm going to try and build this ocean out as much as I can right now. Just because. Can I build another city here? Yep. Let's build some more boats. Nope. I said build some more boats. Because um, I like the idea of having this nice, massive ocean um, area. Let's do it like that, maybe? Okay. Let's go back to get a couple more grass tiles. Something like that. Yeah. And so you see, like, they're placing stuff down. I'm placing stuff down. Suddenly it's kind of, like, getting a little out of control almost. Um, let's do that. Let's just keep expanding this out a little bit, because the more we can do, the better. Uh, oh, that looks good there. Yeah, finally got a tile there. Okay. And how's... No, that's not going to work. That'll work, though. Okay. Let's build some more ocean. Can I fit any more? Yeah, let's fit a house down here. Let's get some more boats around there. Loving it. Loving it. And you'll see, so the next thing that we've got coming up for Ocean Guy, this one allows you to actually change a, a portion of a tile to be ocean, which is actually a pretty useful thing to be able to do. Okay, oh, that one's going to fall. Just don't have enough time to fix it. You can sometimes save those, but you have to be real cautious. All right, uh, let's expand out this way maybe a little bit. Oh, can we? No, not going to work. Okay. Oh, hey! 
Finally found a tile to fit that spot. That's cool. Um, let's maybe do a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Yeah, and then let's uh, maybe do one of those. Let's build out a, another city up here. Keep on, keep on expanding as much as we can, because I'd like to get as far into this as we can, so I'm not too worried about anything other than expanding, expanding, expanding. Bridge that gap, so that's nice. Uh, you get a bonus if you can actually fit a tile into a spot that's surrounded, um, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Um, I can see that for sure. And let's grab a boat. So, let's use this new ability that we've got. What this allows you to do is you can see on the little uh, hover tool there is that like, I can take a diamond shape and turn that into ocean. So that can be useful if you're trying to clean up a certain area or make a bigger ocean spot. So like right there, I was like, okay, let's make that an ocean. And let's put a uh, city there and let's put some boats there. And now that'll start to expand on its own as well. All right, let's us, oh, and we've unlocked the third God, how awesome is that? Let's do it. All right, so this guy is kind of a forest guy. So he's gonna, we're gonna build his stuff out this way. So we summoned Hogweed, and we got plus 60 seconds. Again, I don't know where the overall timer is, uh, but I think we're doing a pretty good job. So his tiles are all focused on forest, and when he is near the forest, he actually like does this kind of cool little, um, I think it's like butterfly effect. Might be flames, who knows. And we also have mountain tiles now connected to his tiles sometimes. So that's the other cool thing, is uh, having to balance that as well. So we're gonna stick with hogweed stuff for right now as much as we can okay and i'm gonna do one of these um i can do that oh no it's gonna fall that's fine one of those i'd like to make this a really big forest if i can so we'll uh we'll think we'll think long and hard about where we specifically place these tiles um how about that Come on! Oh, no, I turned it the wrong way. That's going to cause a chain reaction of bad stuff. Okay. Um, like that. And, all right, we got another mountain. Cool. Oh, it's only going to make a very tiny mountain space if we put it there. That's kind of our only choice. So we had a tiny little mountain there. Got another mountain tile over here, so that's cool. Oh, what happened? Oh, no, he did something. Oh, he caused a huge tsunami because I wasn't doing stuff for him. And so that's the thing where you get into suddenly, uh, you know, things can get a little uh, excessive where all of a sudden they're going to start causing some problems for me. So I need to start making this guy happy or he's going to start causing me some trouble, you know? See, you happy? Are you happy? Huh? All right. And then I'll put down another city for you. And we'll put down some more boats if we can. Can't quite, but that's fine. But, uh, but yeah, so as you can see, stuff gets a little tricky. No, don't destroy! Ah, oh, they're killing all my stuff! Oh boy. Okay, um... Let's, uh... Go like that. Uh, that's not gonna work. Uh-oh. She's getting mad. Oh no, y'all. Oh no! I think bad stuff... Oh, bad stuff has happened. Oh, and this is how it ends. So now, I take control of her, and I do all kinds of stuff. Let's put down a little, like, polluter city. Let's, uh... Do, I think this is, yeah, it's like a tidal wave, and boom, 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 destroyed. Oh, man. Wow, there's even more that you could do, but apparently that tidal wave was just massive because of how big my ocean was. So, the sisters, uh, they uh, did their thing. So, act two, your new world is growing ever larger, even stronger, guarded by you and three vigilant fates. With a quasi-truce between Penelope, Barnacles, and Hogweed achieved, you are free to do what you want. In the distance, you hear rumblings of problems to come. Not all fates tolerate each other. Some hate others and their actions outright. These fates, destructive in nature, are now bound to your world and will do everything in their power to see it crumble. Fight back against their ruin. Rebuild your whole world if needed. Learn from these fates' catastrophes. There is a storm coming, dear maker. Are you and your world strong enough to weather it? Oh, boy. So, my, uh... My world, I think I got to act two just in time to watch it all burn because I like it was like right on the worst time. So I'm now destroying everything I can. And I like that they kind of make you destroy it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, but let's, oh man, oh, look at all the destruction. Look at all the destruction. Holy hell, look at that. Oh my goodness. Create mountains by freezing a tsunami. Look at that. How cool is that, y'all? Oh, man. That's insane. I didn't know you could do that. How cool is that? 
Wow. Look at that. And it's just expanding out. Whoa. There's so much depth to this game that I don't understand. And it's really... Honestly, I find it really awesome. Um, I think maybe I'm supposed to destroy his stuff. This, this jerk over here. Because he's the one, I think, who's starting all the fights. But I, I honestly, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do. I need to research a little bit more on this game to understand this phase. Like, when I was playing this game in preparation for recording it for you guys, all of a sudden this happened, where, like, this stuff started getting just... Like, I had to start destroying it, and I was like, what is going on? Like, my, my mind was literally blown. Uh, that's right, literally. I use that, that figurative phrase, literally. Um, but yeah, now it's just like, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, use every disaster power at least once in a single Doom event. Oh, I gained some, some something for that. Cool. Let's do a Tsunami. Oh, didn't really do much, did it? Alright, I think that I just need to destroy this stuff. So, let's just hit each of these a little bit. And just end it all. End it all! So yeah, she can knock down like little earthquakes, which cause all the areas to become destabilized. And there goes Hogweed. And I think that that should do it there. Yeah, now I've destroyed the world once. Now what happens? Let's find out. All right, and... Okay, and then that's the end. Age complete. Total time for next age, 1730. Accomplishments earned this age. I earned these things. And then I have new goals for my next time. Grow a city into a castle, unlock all of Hogweed's powers, unlock all of Barnacle's powers. So then I could start age two. But obviously, I am not going to be continuing forward with the rest of this, although I really do want to know what this guy's like. But that's enough for this episode of uh, Fate Tectonics. Uh, I hope you guys liked checking this game out. If you liked it, please let me know down below. Be sure to go check it out on Steam. It's available now. You can go buy it yourself. Um, and uh, it's definitely a cool one. And yeah, I'm glad that I got to play it for y'all. But with that said, if you liked what you saw, please be sure to give this video a like, a favorite, and subscribe to the channel. My name has been Price, and I will see y'all next time.